this is a cock. And that is the rock out with your cock out guy. Now, some of you know that the rock out with your cock out guy plays on Fremont Street, but what maybe you don't know is that he also ran for mayor of Las Vegas. You can see he uh, was disqualified from running for mayor and sued the city. He actually wanted me to endorse his candidacy for mayor, and we had a discussion about it. I didn't exactly see how somebody who spends their career playing a guitar with a chicken between their legs, how that qualified him to run a city, even one as crazy as Las Vegas. But where we really started to bump heads was uh, the whole reason Michael was disqualified for running in the first place. He saw the paperwork that the city supplied him and decided that the paperwork was unconstitutional, that he was going to create his own paperwork. And so he just kind of like chucked their job application for mayor and used his own. And I said, you know, Michael, if I'm applying for a job, I don't just roll in there and be like, hey, uh, you know, your application sucks. It's crap. Um, so I'm just going to chuck it and use my own. Um, that's not going to go over well anywhere. And it didn't go over well with the city of Las Vegas either. So um, they quickly disqualified him. After this conversation that Michael and I had, he came to the conclusion that I was a spy for the city of Las Vegas, which is an interesting conclusion to reach, given that, you know, I'm the guy who is making a documentary exposing corruption in the Vegas mass shooting, exposing the government, exposing the local politicians in Las Vegas. But it's even more interesting when you consider my last film, uh, which is What Happened in Vegas, um, which was... The documentary that hit number one on uh, iTunes documentary chart worldwide and exposed widespread corruption in the city of Las Vegas, in the police department, in the political ranks. So the conclusion that I am uh, a spy working for the city of Las Vegas is certainly an interesting one and, and um, one that probably not a lot of people would arrive at. But, you know, not a lot of people rock out with their cock out for a living either. <laughs> That is the pose of somebody who is a legend in their own mind. This guy thinks that he should run the city of Las Vegas. How dare I come to the conclusion that a career spent performing rock music with a rock between his legs is not sufficient qualifications to run a city. I must be a spy working for the city of Las Vegas. So, you know, next time you see the rock out for your cock out guy, just, uh... You know, take your hat off to him, give some respect, because this guy has it all figured out. Whoa.